guys. I, I, do, I do these videos randomly. Um, look, look at this collection. So as you can see here, this is where the big car park is. These are some of my beauties. This, that's my water rescue unit with a hovercraft. That's my water rescue unit. It also has equipment. And then here, yesterday arrived, this is my new diving unit for water rescue diving team. Which is big. That there is my drone unit. And here is our breathing apparatus, apparatus responding van that we use for operating. And then we've got the LFB command van there. Command um, officer's van or whatever it can be called. Watch monitor van there. Fire officer's, seeing as your fire officer's car. Uh, do, 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 do. There's your watch monitor's car as part as well, the fire station. So that's watch monitor second vehicle, if you want to call it that way. And then we got that one there. That is the watch monitor's command vehicle. Sorry, I need to type before. That's um, the third wheel's LEW van. LEW means command. Maintenance van, load of them here, maintenance service. Charity shops have these a lot and I love to buy them because they're so cheap. They're called fleet, fleet stockers. Maintenance vans and they're good because they also used as light sources for big scenes. So they're also maintenance vans, but they're also floodlights but units, light, extra light units for the fire service. That's our senior fire officer's car again, my favourite. Service vehicle. Also, spent it just transports parts to to the fire stations. Hence, why it's rarely used. And we've got some more utility vans from the LFB holding the fire brigade. Fire investigation unit, big must have in the collection because when there's a fire, you need to watch out. There's another watch miner's car. Um, that is one of my favourite Dalperado models. I, I'll tell you why because I like it because it's a van. It's a van fire engine, and I think it's freaking cool. Then we want my Japanese fire engines, my rescue unit. So, if you want to know, Mountain Rescue is going to be part of the rescue team unit. So, like in Manchester, they have a technical rescue team with uh, a Volvo FE and a mercedes -Benz Sprinter. It's going to be like that, basically. Another utility van, that's a Logix van. If you want to know, guys, it's a Logix van. It just transports stuff around fire stations and it's like um tables and chairs or something new for the fire station logic unit uh another utility van i don't know what to do with there's a watch manager's vehicle fire officer's car from lfb emergency unit transit it's part of a rescue unit oh um this is all my fire department ambulances i really like my fire department ambulances so I'll give it a touch at the ambulance station not only that that's a vintage maintenance van, an old vintage nine, old vintage museum piece service van, and my old rope rescue van. That's technically going to be replaced by all the other vans. At the back, we have a emergency logics unit, fleet support, and unmapped fire officer's car. And then we've got this uh, watch manager's defender, prime mover, LEW, two pumps, and an air rescue pump. All there. And not only that, we've got a Logix unit here. That's the T Cab Logix unit. That's for this big stuff that get bit in the van, so they have to have a big vehicle to transport stuff. And that's the plan. That's an also an old vintage Logix, Logix unit. If you know, it's an old Logix unit. That's an old Logix unit. Um I just fell. So this is um, my new hazmat unit I got yesterday. So my new hazmat team unit is a decontamination unit. So it'd be getting completed up. New pump one. And then we've got the mountain rescue unit joining the rescue thing you just heard. Workshop service, getting the new van. Um, this is also going to be part of the fire station maintenance service, which could road sweeper. This is a new watch manager's vehicle of fire officers to replace this one. That one is replacing that one because it's fire, it's now, it's fire themed. 
fire themed. We've got some nurse trucks and stuff that I don't know what to do with, especially to Renault. The Veckel's quite nice because it's a casting, but I'm not a fan of Veckel's. All here, but I'm busy. Got my new command unit with a broken mud flap. Um, my number, my aerial I don't detail. More stuff. Lots of busy stuff on there. Lots of stuff. Very, very tight now there. It's very busy. It's very busy that collection. And then we've got more stuff here. I've got like more aerial ladders and turntable ladders and crack like that. I need to un need to unbox that. And probably get some better pictures of that from Instagram. My fire station, Pineville fire station. That gets not really much used now because I don't want to bore you guys to death. This is our new team bus, so when it's a big major winner for them. So for instance, if there's a big high-rise flat fire and everyone's homeless and the cold, it's a cold day, they'll be all told to go on the bus with the heating on, the, the bus heater be on, or a generator back of it, to generate the heat, to make everyone keep warm, shut all the doors and make everyone warm. And make sure they're in a safe place. So they're in that place. This is my favourite Dow, my Dow brand model. It's a Volvo F06 Intercooler Browns Bodywork. Another nice mushy flavoured truck. As well as the Zelga Man Crew Cab. That's another beauty thing. And then you've got to say this is another cool Dow Prada model. The Man TLF Magnarus. And that's my other favourite. This is my second ever favourite. I'm going to show you my favourites now with our brothers. A Brands Via diving unit I got yesterday. Okay, I'm going to show you. Dow Prado Dennis Rapier uh, Auto Pumpe. Of course, most rarest Dennis Saab Americom. Americom Volvo FL6 or FL something. D Dumfries and Galloway's rescue unit. It was partnership between Dal Prado and America with the same company, if you want to know. So if you see America, don't think, oh, it's not it's not Dal Prado. Yes, it was Dal Prado. Everything the America and Dal Prado did, I think something happened with Dal Prado and the America took on and they went lost as well. Don't ask it to happen in the ass. These are my favourites. That's my other favourite. I'm gonna call Reynold Traffic. It's a lovely van. And then um, my other favourite, that, this awesome Scania, French Scania with like a bus type door, I've got a picture of it on my phone, it's weird, and then, that's my favourite, that's my favourite, my old more favourite, because it's a prime mover, and it looks like a daft, that's why I got it. The, oh, under here we've got another RTW, my favourite my favourite Suku mine casting, I love it. And my favourite Mercedes Benz Sprinter casting. Um I just got that because it's a TLF. All these I just I just got because I was stupid and I realise now I hate Avecos, I hate Reynolds, I hate stuff. But in fairness, that looks like a if I turn it round guys, that looks like a Volvo FL. Without me looking at the Renault, it looks like a Volvo FL. And that's the point exactly. That's just a reserve volunteer department truck I don't really use. Um, especially the TLF. That doesn't get used. All these are just reserve trucks. This is my nickel museum piece. I quite like that. It's a quite a nice nickel truck, actually. Very nice. And it goes with that ladder unit I got for three quid. So, bonus there for you guys. Um... Look at all these Scania's I got though. I mean, come on, the Tago family. We have got some Scania, and all these main these vans and vehicles and crack like that. My collection's getting big now. And catering unit. You always have to have a catering unit on the fire ground. That's a big must to feed them. Hungry firefighters, hot drinks and sandwiches and donuts because in America they eat donuts. Um, that's so that's a must have for any for any firefighter in. The fire ground. But the most important vehicle is a command unit. That's why I love command units. I adore them. They're the most precious. Like the like Frankenstein and Merlin, the fire ground. They're so precious to the fire service. 
unlike, unlikely now we're going to be selling wheels and bus in London because London's getting new buses for their command units. Um, Lancashire Fire Rescue's got a Decato on from 2011. Yeah, it's all going well, command units. There's a drawer full of trucks. Not bad. Oh, got lots of Scania in here. Titchy witchy trucks. Yeah, that drawer's there. And in here, stuff I don't review anymore. This is just American crack, crap corner. Probably keeping these. These are not, not in here for a reason because the storage. It's medical command units, but they're just report centers. They're not command units. They're just like, they command units. These are just like checkpoints on the fire ground. So you get out your truck, you can even report to this one of the command units. So it's like a, it's like a check, it's like a like a border patrol on the fire ground. So you can just block you coming near the entrance of the fire or the building fire, and you've got to check with them guys, and they will sign your truck onto the, the ground. Because that's what that's my collection for. You. And in here is full of more rubbish, ambulances. Rescue units, ambulances, yeah, ice cream vans and stuff. I don't know what I'm doing with that. In here, here's more stuff I don't really re want to review or keep. So I just keep it in storage. Because I'm not a fan of them. And here is all my Leyland fire engines, my Leyland Cubs. A bit dusty from my TV because the TV is right next to it. But I have cleaned these trucks, but unfortunately... There's not many air coming in this room. Whatever the window open, dusty. I have cleaned them. I've got wipes. I do clean my models, but I just wreck them. But anyway, all my vehicles. This is a big collection. Especially these. Now these ambulances are just I'm gonna be kept for fire incidents, so I might be getting ambulance command. Look at my squishy fire engine. She's my little cuddly fire engine. She's very detailed. To say it's a plush, it's very detailed. Lifesaver. Cones and everything on it. It's mad. It's mad. Toy freaking thing. Anyway. Oh, some daft trucks as well for your interest. I'm not interested in daft trucks. I just got these because I was in just... I wanted some daft fix. So, uh, yeah, they're all there. If you want to know. But anyway... I will shall crack on now, trying to cry. Also, my RC cars. This is my first RC I got ever from Asta. This has got patrol. And then my two RCs are down there. And then my fire engine is like, that has to have charge. So, yep, busy collection, non stop. I'm slowing down because I'm starting to come to the end of the line of collecting now because at the minute, I'm only collecting stuff that are important to the collection. I'm not blabbering on, oh, I might get an old vintage fire engine. Oh, I might get something that's going to have been. I'm not doing that. I'm getting stuff that I realistic to the fire ground. I'm not like going, oh, I'm going to buy a, a matchbox fire engine and stick it on the fire ground. Nope, I'm not going to do that. I'm concentrating on the important fire engines on the fire ground at the minute. Like catering units, I've got one catering unit, that's enough. I've got some command units. I love my command unit. Workshop vans, mountain rescue vans, everything about this collection is important. And not only that, I always watch videos to see do they have decontamination units that have this. Probably there's sometimes my independent command unit doesn't look realistic, but it's funny and it's a command unit, so I'll happily eat my hair and I'll happily do it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Goodbye.